this Brazilian beauty is undoubtedly the model of the moment. From runway sensation to top cover model, Giselle Bündchen is the model of the moment in the fashion industry. Giselle, she's hot, she's energetic, she's sexy, she's alive, she's sophisticated, but she's very real. She's the representation of an extremely feminine woman. This young model's stunning looks and confidence on the runway have put her at the top of the modeling world. Beautiful isn't enough. It's a prerequisite, but you have to have something else. When she walks down the runway, you can just see it when you look across at the, at the people across you. Everybody has their eyes on Giselle. She knows exactly what she wants. She's kind of like three steps ahead. She understands the politics of the business. I like what I do, you know, it's cool, it's fun. It's like I have fun doing what I'm doing and it's just a job. This Brazilian beauty's voluptuous sex appeal is matched only by her girl next door charm. I'm like styling. Giselle's got personality, you know, in space. Right. And really that's something that shows in the runway. Right. Um, it shows in every picture she takes. Designer Michael Kors shares Giselle's infectious spirit and loves what it brings to his clothes. On the eve of Michael's show, Giselle is at his showroom for fittings. Let her walk and me see if she trips. And if I trip? <laughs> then it's too long. Then it's too long, exactly. Platinum paillettes, silver fox, and diamonds. And all you need is Giselle's body. <laughs> Backstage the next day, Giselle is busy preparing for the show. It's not just what you look like. If someone has the personality to do this, they transform. You have a minute, a minute, to get over a thousand people in the room to just stare at you. Michael he happens to be a great designer, but he's a great person, he does beautiful clothes. So it doesn't really matter if they're big or not, it just matters if I like them, if I like their clothes. While this model commands seven to $10,000 an hour for the big name designers, she also believes in supporting friends. This season, she donates time to newcomer and fellow Brazilian, Fauci Houghton. Last spring, Giselle was so in demand, she literally ran from show to show. This season, she chose a more manageable pace. I'm taking a bit easier this time, so, um, yeah, so I don't get sick again like always I do. So I'm just doing like, you know, like a few shows, and I think I work really hard for like three years. So now I think I deserve a bit like of um, a break. But, you know, it's good, it's good, it's all good. It's just doing like things at their time and being like kind of more relaxed about it. But even with a lighter schedule, Giselle isn't left with much free time. I just have three today, a couple of feedings during the day, and uh, like uh, another feeding after this. And then I'll be done and going to bed really soon, hopefully. <laughs> after Michael Kors, Giselle prepares for her next show with designer Anna Sweet. Well, Anna so is always really like, she always have like a very like cool concept. He's like hippie, you know, he's like cool, you know? Perennial favorite, Ralph Lauren, is another of Giselle's shows this day. Giselle is somebody that I've used in my ads, I think, before anyone ever knew she existed. Uh, and I've seen her blossom. She's, I would consider, the most, the model of the day. Designers aren't the only ones enamored with Giselle's beauty. Fashion editors have made her a top cover model. For the obvious reasons, I mean, she's beautiful, she has an amazing body, but she has a great personality and she's very authentic. Giselle is this beautiful woman. She is very thin, but she still has a shape. I mean, it's the first time I think we're seeing breasts again, and, and big ones at that. The new millennium ushers in a new era of what's considered beautiful. Gone is the weight, replaced with a more glamorous, healthy look. I just think she's an extraordinarily beautiful girl that is the mood of the moment and uh, I hope we'll find some more like her soon. Finding them shouldn't be hard. Since her debut, the fashion world flocked to Brazil looking for the next Giselle. Half my cast is Brazilian. They're amazingly mature at a very young age. Um, 
They seem really sensible. But the Brazilian model explosion has been huge. I think it really follows in the footsteps of the, the Latin explosion that's happening in America. Even with all the attention from the fashion community, this Brazilian manages to stay grounded. You know, I'm the same person, doesn't matter, just because I work more.